And this is Alex Tagliani who was in the top five. He's knocked the front wing off that car. More problems for Walker Racing and the Aussie Vineyards team. But Tracy, Paul Tracy off of turn six. So Tracy makes another mistake. Watch Drives this. Right Watch this. Him. Oh, no. Pulled Come out on. in front of Tag. Tag didn't see him. Blind corner there. Contact between the two. Here's car. That has to be the dumbest thing I've seen Paul Tracy do for ah. years. That is the dumbest thing I've seen. Full course yellow. Tracy has parked the three car. The Indec Forsyth machine started on the outside pole. He is done for the day. He's Here looking for Tag. PT. See the AT on his Hans device. He wants an explanation for this. Tracy went off the road at turn six. We've seen that many times this week. He gunned it, spun the car, tried to rejoin the fray without losing much track position, but he miscalculated. There's Paul Tracy, former series champ in 2003, winless in 06. Uh-oh. I think Tag's not, he's walking away from Tracy's team. I think he's walking to Paul. He wants him. Caution with 44 laps to go. Sebastian Bourdais with the lead. Uh-oh. PT headed toward the motor hall. Paul, Paul, put your helmet on. Put your helmet on. How is he going to explain his way out of this? Two Canadian nationals. Wow. Confrontation behind the wall. And Tracy had no answer. He had no answer for Tagliani's questions. Tag was smart. He kept his helmet on. Champ car officials on pit road. Okay. Tag was smart. He kept his helmet on. Champ car officials on pit road. Champ car officials on pit road. Champ car officials on pit road. Tracy, just outside his bus. I know you've had a shower. You have a cut on your head. Tell us how it unfolded from your standpoint. Well, the whole race, I was having braking problems. Brake pedal kept going down to the floor, and I was losing the brakes, and then I'd have to slow down, and then I would, you know, I started to go again, and I, I lost the brakes again and went in the runoff. I got spun around, and I thought I could get out in front of Tag, and I pulled out right into him. And uh, obviously, he was mad. He came up and was confronting me, and I said I was sorry to him, and he but still wanted to keep grabbing me and, you know, grabbing me, and I said, hey, stop grabbing me. And then, you know, he wanted to shake, grab and shake some more, and he turned around and walked away. And then I thought everything was cool, and then he came back at me again. I said, hey, don't touch me. And he started grabbing me again, and that, that's it. I had to defend myself. All right, Paul, thank you. Let's get the Cameron steal. Well, I caught up with Alex Tagliani. We just heard from Paul about what happened. What happened there with the runoff from where you saw, and what happened behind the pits there? First of all, Paul makes a mistake, goes into uh, the runoff of turn six, and then when he comes out, I'm going into the corner. I'm at the apex, and he comes out flying and run into the side of my car. And uh, it's really disappointing, you know. It's uh, I have uh, guys just, you know, keep repairing cars and uh, broken cars almost every weekend, and uh, it's not that we have lots of spares. And uh, it's really unfortunate having another race next weekend and uh, having the boys working this hard again.